Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be recording this super cute look with some new products that I got. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to be using, stay tuned. And don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And so I'm going to be using my Sigma Enchanted palette for today's look. This is such a cute palette. And it comes with a nice brush. It's two of their actual brushes on one brush, a dual ended brush. This is the E54, the medium sweeper side of the brush. And then on the other side of the brush is E38, which is the diffuse crease part. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. I'm going in with this shade right here. And that's going to be my transition color. There is some fallout. So next I'm going in with this shade right here which is Claystone and we're going to be adding that into our crease area. be going into the shade right here which is wicked and I'm only going to be applying that to the outer corner of my eye and bringing it halfway into my crease So I've already cut my crease, um, now that I've cut it, I'm going to close those edges. I'm going to be using this black. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Claystone, which was that, this color right here. I'm going to put that next to Wicked. Actually gonna go in with this shade right here, buddy. Huh, or should I use metamorphosis? I think I'm gonna actually go with metamorphosis. And it's this shade right here. It's like a, a holographic shade. It's kind of like reptile-y. I don't know if that describes the color that well, but I like it a lot. Ugh. I wish they would have done the inside of this palette like black because. It just has makeup all over it now. Or should I use Electrum? Or should I use a nude shade? Wow, the struggle. Innocent? Oh my god, all of these are real cute actually. I'm gonna go with budding like I was gonna go the first. We're just gonna leave metamorphosis for next time. Oh yeah. So this is why I like to stick to my first choice because I disappoint myself often. This is real cute. Wow, she is pigmented, honey. So for my inner corner, I'm going to be using Sunburst from this palette right here. It's this color. It's like a muted champagne color kind of. I'm going to add this color also in my brow bone. I'm going to be using Sigma's E55 eye shading brush. I'm going to use that to apply it to my brow bone, but not too heavy. So I'm going to begin with hydrating my face. I'm using, this isn't Fix Plus anymore. I made my own. If y'all want to see a video about how I make my own Fix Plus, let me know down in the comments but we're gonna hydrate after we've hydrated i'm gonna go in with my lactic and hyaluronic acid by the ordinary
I'm gonna be using this Dermablend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. Um, this is like a sample. I don't know what kind of. Wow, this was weird. It's like. It's like hand sanitizer. <gasps> oh my god, that is so weird. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation, and this is in the shade 305W. And we're gonna just apply that all over. I wanted to do face first for this look, but clearly that would have been an epic fail. So for my concealer, I'm going to be using Beauty Bakery's 3-in-1 Insta Bake Concealer. And this is in the shade Pretzelvania. <laughs> So I'm gonna add a little more brightness just under my eye and I'm gonna apply my Milani concealer. This is in the shade Deep Tan. We're not gonna powder contour today, so I'm gonna be using my Kevin Aquan single eyeshadow in the shade Cocoa Bean. <laughs> in the shade Coffee Bean. And she is intense, so we're just using a little bit. Then I'm going to be using my Sigma Accentuate Highlighter Brush. This is the F56. I'm going to be using this with my Dermablend Professional Setting Powder. This is in the shade Warm Saffron. And I'm going to use this to cut my... I mean, not cut my, but reverse contour my contour. I'm gonna be using my Real Technique setting brush and I'm gonna be setting under my eye with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. going in with my beauty bakery better not bitter setting flower and this is in the shade plantain caramel I'm just gonna go on top of that and set that I'm gonna, I'm gonna test to see if this if this primer really holds up to 24 hours so I'm just gonna change my eyes probably for today and go on about my day, you feel me?
So one of the brushes that Sigma sent me was a powder blush brush, which is the F10. I like her. She's real dense, but fluffy at the same time. I think I'm going to use this for my powder, actually. I'm going to be using this brush to dust off the excess powder. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony and I'm going to use that all over to set my whole face. For my nose contour, I'm going to be using my E58 brush by Sigma. This is the cream color brush, but it's actually like a really thin brush, so I'm going to be using So this E58 brush, it's like a really thin brush. I'm use this to start the outline of my nose contour. I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in Dark to Deep. I'm just going to... With the brush I usually contour with, I'm just gonna buff that line out. It really makes it so much easier because I used to squeeze this brush and then try to contour. And that's that on that, you know? I'm going to do a line for my eyeliner and we're gonna apply our lashes. Sigma Sinuosity Mascara on my lashes. And for my lashes, I'm going to be using some lashes from Magic Collection. And they sent me some really beautiful lashes. This is their Illusion Lash. Okay, so these are some of their lashes. These are so cute. I think I'm gonna go with these though because they look really, <laughs> they look real typical of me. I'm gonna be using the Illusion Lash number 002. So I'm going to be using my NYX Dark Brown Lip Liner. Okay, and then I'm going in with All Natural. Gives me Fenty vibes. I'm gonna use Rosy Glorious since we we in the pink mode, baby.
so this is the finished look we got the holiday top on yes yes i'm so happy we went with wedding because this is perfect for the holiday time you know it's not too traditional but it's festive enough and if you guys want to purchase any of the sigma products that i mentioned in this video you can click the link down below or you can use my code jdoesit for money off of your next purchase and i will receive a small commission off of that if so teamwork make the dream ring you feel me thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can catch my next upload hopefully it'll be sooner right